In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called reverse linked list number two. So I highly recommend to check out reverse linked list number one, which I made a video uh, about. So legal 206. And uh, basically, um, this video is kind of like similar to that video, uh, to that question. And we're basically given a linked list. We want to reverse, reverse a sub list. Um, and uh, in this case, we have given a left and a right. And basically, the left is the position and where where the sublist starts and the right position is going to be the where the the sublist ends right so we're going to given the those two positions we want to reverse that sublist so here you can see we have example of a link list we want to reverse this sublist right here so it gave us 432 instead of 231 uh 234 right so in this case you can see the left is uh position 2 right this is 1 2 right this is the position 2 for the link list and four is going to be position four, right? So right is position four. And we reverse the link list, it gives something like this. Now we have another link, uh, um, example where we have left and the right is equal to each other. So I found that if we have the left and the right is equal to each other, we can just return the link list. Because if let's say we have a, um, a sub list that has only one node, and if we only want to reverse that node, then there's nothing that we would have to reverse, right? Because in this case, we're um, <clears throat> there's there's nothing really have to reverse, right? <clears throat> so what we need to do is we need to uh, return the list if left and the right or the position is equal to each other. Now, for the constraints, we realize that the left is always going to be less than or equal to the right, and n is going to be the number of nodes in the list. And uh, so therefore, uh, what we can do is we can make sure we can ensure that the left will always be less than or equal to the right. Okay, so now let's take a look at what we can how can we solve this problem. So to solve this problem, one way we can do this is we can um, use a borders. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say we have to reverse Okay, so let's say we want to reverse this sublist right here, right? What I mean by the borders is that the borders are um, are the are the node before the sublist. So this is going to be the left border, and this is going to be the right border, okay? And this is basically the left node, and this is the right node. <clears throat> so the idea is this: um, basically, just like how we did it in reverse length list one. Right, we can reverse a link list with the given left and the right, with the given start of the link list and the end of the link list or end node. We can just reverse the link list from there, right? We given the left and the right, we can just reverse the link list from there. Once we reverse the link, this sub list right here, it will give us something like this, right? We get it, gets something like this, right? We get no two point to null. And uh, no three is going to point to two, and no no four is going to point to no three, and then we have no five here. But we but if you realize we have those ones those borders declared as in a variable, so we're not losing track of those those nodes that were the the border nodes, right? So what we can do is we can just get this left border right here, right, point to the right node, right? This is the right node. And the right node is no four, and then we're gonna get no two point to the right border, right? So it's pretty simple. Like we're just gonna get the first node point to the no four, and no two is gonna point to no five, and then we can basically connect the link list, this, uh, connect the outer link list with the inner link list from there. So in this case, this time complexity is gonna be big O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the uh, in the um, yeah, like in the uh, in the link list. So that way works, right? And let's say if we have a situation where we want to, um, like for example, if we want to reverse a link list like this, right? So let's say we want to reverse those two link lists, and you can see that we don't have a left border. So in that case, we can use a dummy node, right? We can use a dummy node. Uh, to act as a border, of, as a left border, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get um, no three, right? No three is gonna point to no two, and um, 
gonna have, we're gonna remove that connection. We're gonna get what we're gonna do is we're gonna get no two point no five of course, but we're gonna also gonna get no um, the dummy note right in this case. Dummy node is going to be the, the left border. We're going to get dummy node point to node three. So it's that simple, right? We're just going to use a dummy node to do that. So that way works. And uh, what I also see on the internet is that I see a lot of um, people doing this way, which also works. I find it also works like have a, like a previous pointer, the current pointer, and the next pointer. So same thing. So let's say we want to reverse this link list right here, the sub list right here. Uh, it's the same thing. We're going to have a previous pointer and the current pointer. And uh, we're also going to have a nest pointer, which basically points to the nest node that the, the current pointer is pointing to. Then we're just going to um, basically getting the um, the current pointer points to the nest.nest, right? Which is going to be this node right here. And uh, we're just going to remove this connection. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to get a nest pointer, right? point to the um, point, basically the goal is that we want to remove the, 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 the node that the nest pointer is pointing to, which is in, right? This, we want to remove that node off the sublist and then add it onto the first node in the link, uh, in the sublist. So basically we're going to get no uh, nest. So the node that the nest pointer is pointing to, right? Is going to point to the previous pointer, which is P dot nest, which is going to be node which is going to be no no two right so previous pointer dot nest is going to be no two so then what we're going to do is we're going to get the previous pointer points to the uh, no in right where no nest the nest node now I will give us something like this it will have two four and five right so the current pointer still points to no two right nothing changed. Um, sorry, this is C, no C right there, and then uh, the previous pointer stay the same, but the end pointer is going to be the current pointer.net, which is going to be no four. So now we have no four here, and uh, we, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same process. We're going to get the current node.nest is going to point to no five, which is going to be end.nest, right? So we remove that connection. Then we're going to get n is going to equal to, is .nest is going to equal to previous pointer.net, which is going to be no three. Okay, then we're gonna have the previous pointer, right? Previous pointer is gonna to point to the end, the next pointer. And then we have something like this, where we have no four here. Just like I mentioned, we're just gonna delete no four and then put at, insert it in the first, insert first in the sub list. Now I have two and five, right? So we're basically just doing that for two times and then our job is done, right? So basically that's how we do it. We're just going to reverse the link sublist and then we return the root node. And we're still going to use a dummy node for this because in this case, let's say we have uh, no two, no three, no five. We want to reverse this this sublist right here. We need to have a previous pointer, right? The previous pointer is going to be a dummy node. And um, in this case, the, the previous pointer is always going to be the node before the sublist. So now you know how we can do this. There are two ways we can do this. Let's try to see how we can do this in code using the last implementation that I just talked about. So to do this in code, uh, we're going to first define our base case, right? Once we define our base case, we're gonna define our, um, basically our previous pointer as well as our current pointer, right? So we wanna, we wanna make sure that we position them in the correct position. Then we can start to reverse, reverse the sublist. Once we reverse sublist, we're going to make sure we return the head node. Okay. So for the um, for the base case, we know that just like I talked about, um, we know that the the list the length of the length list is going to be bigger than one, right? It's bigger than uh, bigger than or equal to one. So what we can do is this: if if is if the length of the length list is only one, then we can just return the the head of the node, right? So if head.nest is equal to null, we can just return the head, right? Because there's only one node, and if we were to reverse something, then it will be the same. Now, the other thing is that we want to make sure that left is, if it's, if it's equal to right, we can just return head, because if left is equal to right, there's nothing really we can reverse, right? 
because we need to at least have two elements in the sublist to reverse. Now let's define our previous pointer. So before we define our previous pointer, let's have our dummy node. Dummy is now equal to um, is equal to new list node, right? We're going to have dummy dot nest is equal to head. So once we have that, we're going to have our previous pointer, which is going to be equal to dummy. And uh, the current pointer is going to equal to head. So we have a dummy node, right? So we have a dummy node here right and uh, which points to the head node now what we're going to do then is we're just going to get them in the correct position so move pre and current pointer into the right position okay so we're going to say we're going to have a pointer right so that's going to use we're going to use a for loop for that i is equal to one while i is less than uh less than left we're going to continue to traverse and because the list if you the positions if you realize is not zero based so it gave us two then this is the number two right if you give us three this is number three one is here right so we want to make sure that uh, we're starting from the first node moving towards um, the left right so moving towards the left so in this case what we're going to do is this we're going to get current is equal to current dot nest but before that, we want to make sure prev, prev is equal to current, right? Because we're moving one to the right. And then one, once we get to the correct position, right, where current is equal to current.nest, which is going to be the, 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 um, the head of the sublist, right? And the pre is going to be the node before the sublist. Now we're going to start to reverse the sublist. So in this case, we know that... Um, we know that if we only if the left is two and and the right is four, then there are a total of two connections. So we want to know we want to traverse how many connections we want to reverse, right? So how many connections that we have to reverse? In this case, we are reversing two connections because four minus two is two, right? Because there are two connections in the sublist. So th basically, the connections that we have to reverse, right? So connect. So connections is equal to right minus minus left so that's how many connections we have to reverse then once we have our connections we will have a list node called nest which basically is equal to current dot nest dot nest right so we're going to have integer i is equal to um, zero i is less than number of connections that we have to reverse I plus plus, what we're going to do is we're just going to get, just like I mentioned here, uh, we're going to get the um, the current dot nest is equal to nest dot nest. But first we got to get nest, right? Um, so we're going to first going to get nest is equal to current dot nest. Then once we store that node, right, we store it in a variable, we're going to get current dot nest is equal to nest dot nest okay so then once we done that once we done this part uh, we're going to get the nest dot nest right so nest dot nest is equal to prev dot nest just like what I mentioned here you can see prev dot nest is equal to no two and we want to make sure the nest dot nest is equal to prev dot nest and then we can get pre dot nest is equal to nest. Okay, so we're going to continuously do that until we get the entire sublist reversed. So after that's done, we're just going to um, make sure we return the head node, which is going to be dummy dot nest. Now let's try to run the code, and let's try with a few more test case, and now let's try to submit. Okay, so here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve the reverse lane close number two problem.